If you have some background of Java and if you are interested in mastering Java messaging service, then this course is for you. And if you are an experienced Java developer who is working on microservice applications which are going to communicate using Java messaging service, then this course is for you as well. This is Bharat Tipiredi. I'm a software architect and best-selling instructor. Several of my courses have helped students to crack interviews as well as create Java applications from scratch. You will start this course by learning what messaging is and the advantages of using messaging in our applications. We will then move on to learn what JMS is and why we should use JMS to send and receive messages in a Java application. We will then do a simple software setup that is required to work on all the hands-on lectures in the course. You will see messaging in action while learning the two different styles of messaging, namely point-to-point -point messaging as well as publish subscribe messaging. You will do that while using both JMS 1.x API as well as JMS 2.x, which makes our life as a developer super easy by simplifying the API. A JMS message is made up of headers, properties, and different types of messages can be used in the payload. So you will master all of that in the anatomy of a JMS section or anatomy of a JMS message section. You will then work on point-to-point -point messaging in detail while working on a tiny little use case and in the process you will learn how to load balance while working with P2P messaging. And you will also work on a tiny little HR management use case where you will see PubSub in action again and in the process you will learn how to use durable subscriptions as well as shared subscriptions. We can filter messages when we consume them and we can use SQL, SQL-like syntax inside the filters. You will learn how to filter out messages based on different properties as well as the message headers. Message guaranteeing is very important. So you will learn the different types or different modes of message acknowledgement and also how to use JMS transactions while producing a message as well as consuming a message. We'll also learn how to deploy your messaging applications onto an application server in the J2EE or JEE, Java Enterprise Application context.